Local organizations are sending crews and supplies to southwest Florida to help victims of Hurricane Ian. 12 News' Brandon Rain spoke to local chapters of the American Red Cross and Salvation Army to find out just what they're doing to help those impacted by the storm. Local chapters of the Salvation Army and American Red Cross are on their way to areas in South Florida hit hardest from Hurricane Ian. We're supporting in whatever way possible. The Salvation Army is deploying eight teams from across Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. One unit leaving out of Jackson on Thursday. The biggest thing we're going to be doing is mass feeding to begin with. These events always have a lot of people without power. Um, especially flooding incidents, things like that, are going to leave a lot of people displaced. They say they hope to provide up to 50,000 meals a day, then turn their efforts to helping people get back on their feet. There, there are always people who slip beneath the cracks, who, who didn't have the insurance they needed, and that's where organizations like the Salvation Army are able to come in with funding. The American Red Cross had crews in Florida before the Category 4 storm made landfall. We have two people from Mississippi um, they are on the ground right now, and we have a number of um, Mississippians that are on the way to Florida um, that should be leaving uh, today. Crews are helping to get hot meals and supplies to those staying in shelters. Right now, there are about 30,000 people in shelters in Florida. So making sure that people have a safe place to stay, um, that's our priority. Other crews will be assessing the damage and meeting with state and city officials. We know that this is going to be a long process for sure, um, and we're going to be there the whole time. Both organizations say they are prepared to help as long as they are needed. It's catastrophic, and it's. I've seen a lot of disasters, but I got to say that the, the flooding and the level of the level of water that I saw this time was like like anything I've ever seen. It just it breaks my heart and it makes me want to help as much as I can because I know that people are hurting. To find out how you can donate to Hurricane Ian relief efforts, visit our website WJTV.com. Reporting in Jackson, I'm Brendan Rains for 12 News.